what is going on guys welcome back to another swift video in today's video we're going to learn how to put together toasts or otherwise known as snack bar views in your swift ui app so i've got these two buttons here when i tap on this one you'll see this thing pops up from the bottom i just made it fairly large it auto dismisses as well and we tap on this one this guy pops in from the top and it does not auto dismiss however we can tap on it and then it springs away just like that so we'll take a look at you know how to customize these how to use your own views in them how to get different animations uh, you know different look and feels and all that good stuff and of course it looks really nice in both light and dark mode alike so make sure you destroy that like button first and foremost make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed already i think something like 80 percent of you consistently watch but don't hit subscribe for some reason i'm not sure why but, uh, but yeah, once those two, two things are done, get excited, open up Xcode, and let's talk about some toasts in Swift UI. Quick pause before the video. This video is brought to you by iosacademy.io. If you're interested in building some of the top apps from around the world, like YouTube, Instagram, Uber, and Facebook, head on over to iosacademy.io and toss in your email in the waitlist form here to be notified as content becomes available Content includes interview prep, free courses, premium content, how to build TikTok, Messenger, Instagram, and anything else you can think of in between. That said, let's get into the video. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started by opening up Xcode and creating a new project here. We're gonna stick with the app template under the iOS tab. And let's go ahead and call this project Swift UI pop-ups. Make sure your lifecycle and interface are both Swift UI and your language is Swift. Go ahead and continue and we'll save this project onto our desktop. And as soon as Xcode decides to stop being slow, we're gonna expand our window here and I'm gonna hit this button to get our preview to start loading. Let me go ahead and collapse this a little bit so we have some more code room. And uh, let's talk about pop-ups. So, the first thing we want to do is head on over to this GitHub repo that I've got linked in the description down below. And we're going to go ahead and copy the URL. This is the dependency we need to bring in uh, to our project to get this working. So cool, how do we bring this in? Well, we go to File, and under File, we want to select Swift Packages, and we want to hit Add Package Dependency. Now, once this opens up, go ahead and paste in that GitHub repo URL and hit Enter. It's going to go ahead and resolve the latest version, we can keep all of this as is. Just go ahead and continue, and it'll begin downloading the dependency. It should be fairly quickly. It's not very large uh, by any means. And once it's in, go ahead and confirm and uh, hit finish, and it'll bring it in just like that. And we can jump back to our content view here. So cool, go ahead and hit Command B, make sure it's compiling after you've brought in that uh, Swift package dependency. And uh, let's start modifying our view here. So. I'm gonna first start by throwing in a navigation view. And inside this navigation view, we're just gonna have a simple vertical stack. And let me go ahead and give this a navigation title. And let's go ahead and say Swift UI. Uh, we're gonna call them toasts, which are those bottom like views that kind of swipe up and swipe in or fly in rather, but some people call them snack bars. We're gonna go with toasts. But, uh, but cool, so we've got this V stack here. And what we want to do in here is we're gonna put a button in here with an action and a label. And what we wanna accomplish is when we go ahead and tap on this button, we wanna show our pop-up. So we're gonna look at um, different styles where it's like a snack bar slash toast that comes in from the top, the bottom. We're gonna look at auto dismiss and we are also gonna look at one that comes into the center here. Uh, it doesn't auto dismiss. So the first thing we wanna do is we're gonna say show pop up as some text right there. Let's go ahead and give this a frame to make it a bit more uh, of a button look and feel. So I'm gonna say 220, 50 alignment is centered. We're gonna give this guy a background color of color dot uh, green. I'm also gonna give it uh, a corner radius, corner radius of eight. And finally, we're gonna go ahead and give it some padding just like that. Let me go ahead and hit resume over here on our canvas preview. <laughs> We should see our uh, button pop in just like that with our uh, title up here. And what do we now want to do in the button action? So we want to have a state property, which is going to get uh, basically toggled on once, uh, you know, we tap on the button. So we're going to say var is showing 
pop up, which is going to be false out of the box. So once the view loads, it's going to be set to false. And we go ahead and uh, you know tap on this. We're going to assign this uh, to be true. But how do we actually bring in that pop-up component? Uh, well, the first thing we should do is let's go ahead and import that dependency we brought in, which is uh, pop-up view right there. So we're going to say import pop-up view. So we get that module coming in. And uh, the way you actually uh, you know, create a pop-up is by using a modifier. And it's really simple. So we're going to do it right down here. So we're going to say uh, pop-up. And uh, we don't want pop over. We want pop up right there. And you'll see there are two initializers. Um, there's this uh, shorter one here and a longer one. Let's just go with this one just to take a look at how this works. And then we'll look at the longer one and how to customize. So the first parameter here is a uh, bindable state. So we're going to say uh, is showing pop up. And this next thing is a view builder. So here we are going to actually return a view. So I'm going to, let's see if I can just do this. We're going to say h stack text of stuff. And uh, let's make sure this actually shows up. So it looks like we have an error first and foremost. Let me go ahead and fix that. So we see it doesn't conform to view. That's now what we want to do. So let me get rid of this navigation title. I'm not sure if we can actually put the pop-up on here. We probably want to actually put the pop-up on, um, let's see if we can make that the first one here. We still can't do that, it appears. Let's try to put it on our button here. And uh, it looks like this syntax is kind of weird. Let me get rid of that. And there we go. So once we get rid of that weird autocomplete signature, it should be working. Let me try to move this back onto the V stack and it is indeed still working. You can tell by the syntax highlight. So, so in here, we've got an H stack. This H stack is actually what's gonna pop up in our, uh, you know, our pop-up view. Um, so let's go ahead and make this a little nicer. So I'm gonna have an image uh, and a label in there. So we've got the label. So I'm gonna have a SF uh, symbol, so we're going to say system name, and we are going to use uh, the name of Bell. We're going to go ahead and say this is resizable. Uh, we are also going to give it a frame with a width and height of 50 by 50, alignment of center. And let me go ahead and give it a foreground color of white, just like that. Let's say color.white. And then right next to this, we're going to have a uh, label, and this is going to be uh, you have 32 new messages waiting for you. Clearly, I just made that up. But uh, let's go ahead and hit resume over here. And uh, let me hit this live preview. Oops, looks like we have, an, we have an error here. So here we have color.wipe that I spelt wrong. So let me go ahead and fix that. And let me hit try again. All right, looks like everything is in order. Let's hit this live preview. And let me go ahead and hit this button. Let's see what happens. Um, so you'll notice, uh, you see you have 32 new messages for you, and uh, we don't actually see the uh, image because it's white on white. So let's go ahead and make that blue. And I'll try that again, and there it is. Um, but the first thing you'll notice is this isn't looking too great, uh, clearly. So let me actually go ahead and let's put this all in a Z stack. And let's pop in a color of color.blue right there. And uh, let's see if that looks any better. But we're going to customize how this whole thing looks. So you see there, it actually does fly in from the bottom. Uh, and instead of um, you know, having this uh, just sit here, we might want to go ahead and have a uh, dismiss button in there. So let's go ahead and change the icon back to white. Let me also go ahead and uh, give this uh, Z stack some padding and a corner radius of 12. And let's go ahead and hit this one more time. All right, we're looking much better. Um, we still have uh, all the stuff fairly close to the edges. So what we probably wanna do is also add some padding on the horizontal stack. And our image is kind of large. So I'm gonna make this 35 and 35. We're also gonna give this guy padding. Let's try that one more time. All right, we're looking much better now. Uh, definitely better than where we started. We might wanna make this text also have a foreground color of white. But uh, anyways, instead of looking at all the UI customization of this, let's take a look at the different uh, styles we can have. So I'm going to take this whole uh, Z stack and I'm going to make this its own view so we can reuse it. So I'm going to call this uh, toast and we're going to try to spell things correctly. So we're going to create a toast uh, struct right down here, which will be, uh, of course, a view. 
And you know, in a real world application, you might want to have a view model where you could pass in all of these things to configure this toast to be reusable. Um, this is going to be some view, and we're just going to you know return that Z stack. So if you go ahead and hit try again, you'll see uh, once we hit that button, everything will be uh, identical as soon as let me go ahead and pause this and run it one more time. We'll hit this, we still see that. So cool. So let's take a look at the other customization functions um, that this pop-up thing uh, gives us. So we're gonna say pop-up and we have this longer one here. So let's look at this. So the first thing, once again, is our bindable uh, state. We're gonna have a, uh, a view here and this view, we're gonna get rid of uh, the stuff in this closure here and we're just gonna put in our toast. Uh, but we do have a bunch of more parameters that we need to deal with. So what is type? So it's an enum and uh, there is toast, default, and uh, floater, which uh, I believe is uh, floating from the top. Uh, this is a little misleading, but let's try toast. We're gonna take a look at position and position we have bottom or top, so we want bottom. Here we've got animation. So let's see, let's go ahead and uh, hit that period. We're gonna hit uh, let's see, let's do E, let's do E's in. That one's probably nice looking. Continuing along, we're gonna say auto hide in. This is the amount of time you want it to auto hide after. So let's say uh, three seconds. Uh, we're gonna say close on tap will be true. So if the user taps it, it'll close. Uh, close on tap outside, we'll say false. And uh, this last thing is our view. So let's see what this looks like. Let me go ahead and hit uh, pause on our live preview and hit this. We should see it pop up at the bottom here and then auto dismiss. So there it is and then give it three seconds and it goes away. So yeah, there you have it. That's how you can uh, bring in these like notification toast style views to your Swift UI app. Um, these are super, super nice and easy to of course add as we see here. Uh, let's play with this a little bit before we wrap up here. Let's try what that other one looks like. So there was uh, toast. If we take a look at default and tap on this, we'll see the default ones actually in the middle. You might want to use this instead of with the standard alert view in your app. I'm not a big fan of this one. I like the toast at the bottom. Uh, and the last one we'll take a look at here is uh, uh, this floater thing. And it takes one parameter, uh, which is a float, which is vertical padding. I'm going to say 20. And uh, I don't exactly recall what the difference of this one is, but so it looks like this one also uh, is floating. So uh, I'm not sure exactly what the difference between this and a toast is. So I'm going to go back to the original one, which was the toast we added. And uh, if you want to take a look at position top, um, you know, if you, if you wanted to use this in your app, you would use it for something like, you know, notifying the user of something happening, like notification messages. Um, you know, of course, if you've used like Instagram before or any chat application uh, and you're in one conversation, it'll give you the notification, um, not a push notification, but like an update from another part of your app. So it is definitely super handy. Um, and you can, of course, make this uh, auto dismiss uh, be nil here, I believe. And uh, let's go ahead and present it. I don't think it's going to auto dismiss now. It's just going to kind of stay there. You just have to be careful about your modifier uh, ordering. So here you can see the toast is actually below our uh, navigation view uh, title. So you want to make sure that you're cognizant of that. Um, you would just move the navigation title before the pop up. Uh, but let's, uh, let's change this to be, let's see, we've got ease in, we're going to make this ease in out. And we are also going to make this uh, bottom. And let's go ahead and change the background color of our toast. So instead of uh, the blue in our Z stack, we're going to go with uh, green perhaps. And let's go ahead and tap this. And uh, boom, there we have it. There is our uh, toast at the bottom and we can tap on it and it goes away with a really slick animation. And that's all I've got for you guys. Um, you can play with it in light mode, dark mode. Let's do that real quick before we wrap up here so we can change our simulator, rather our uh, preview here to dark. Let's go ahead and uh, run it again in live preview. We can tap on it and boom, looks super nice and light and dark mode alike. So that's all I've got for you guys. If you haven't hit that like button already, make sure to do so for the YouTube algorithm. Helps the video and channel quite a bit. Comment down below, are you guys a fan of these kinds of views? What do you think of this? I find it interesting that they uh, you know, use a, a modifier to add this. Very similar to how popovers and uh, you know, standard Swift UI alerts work. Um, I really like this component. I think it's super slick and you can remake this toast thing as a, you know, reusable view. Um, but that's all I've got. So 
If you haven't subscribed, do that as well to stick around for iOS and Swift videos. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.